HTTPS in use today is, is giving us a false sense of security, the way it's being used uh, within the browser environment, the network environment, and um, it's being used in a way that the browsers, uh, by virtue of having that little uh, lock icon on them, are, are giving us a sense that this conversation we're having with the website is, is secure and that it's good, and, and I think it's misleading to people in terms of what they're seeing. So I think when users look at that little lock icon in the browser, they get the sense that, that everything's good, that, that things are secure and good. And really the misleading part of that is that um, this, the conversation they're having, the actual network conversation, is a secure conversation. It's secured, it's encrypted, but really what that means to us is it's private. And so there's a big difference between privacy, which means we're having a private conversation, and security, which means we're having a safe conversation. So with, um, with security, to me, that means that when I go to a website, I have an assurance that it's a safe place to go, it's a low-risk place to go. I'm not going to lose my identity or have my username and password stolen. Additionally, I think um, it, it's a way of knowing that uh, the conversation we're having is a private conversation, and, and it's the conversation I'm having with the other side is with a trusted entity. And part of that is true with HTTPS, but not all of it's true. And to expand on that, what I mean by that is that it's private, the other side uh, is getting our conversation and nobody in the middle could snoop on it or see it, but we, we really don't know who we're talking to. We don't know the reputation of who's on the other side of that conversation. So it's private, but it may not be secure.